the chili. I had about 16 ounces of good purified water, and I've been soaking my sun-dried tomatoes in that. This is my Blendtec blender, and this thing's so wonderful because it's got a touch screen, and it actually has cycles. It, you can set it, let it go, and it actually runs itself, speeding up and slowing down, and turning everything into beautiful, creamy consistency. So I've got the sun-dried tomatoes in there already. There's about a, so I'm going to put these tomatoes in to make our sauce. Just kind of left them fairly chunky there. Earlier, I blended up, this is dried chipotle peppers. And I blended those up a little earlier, so I'm going to put that in there now. This is fresh parsley. Just a few sprigs, not too much. I find parsley to be very strong. More garlic. This time it's going to be blended into the sauce. So I've got a little chunky garlic in there and then blended into the sauce here. This is some soaked dates. Need just a little bit of sweetness to this. Since I'm doing it as a chipotle flavor, I want it to have kind of that barbecue flavor. So I'm going to add just a little bit of sweetness. And then at the end, if I find that it's not sweet enough, I've got some raw agave syrup I'm going to add. And then this is namashoyu. And I mixed it with a little bit of brown rice miso. Namashoyu is a raw, a truly raw, soy sauce. And miso is a fermented brown rice. At least that's what this is. Miso is also made out of soy. This is a fermented brown rice. This gives a great salty flavor without having to add salt. And miso is reputed to have all kinds of wonderful properties, anti-cancer properties, things like that. It, be sure to use raw miso that is unpasteurized and fermented to get all the wonderful benefits. So, we are going to blend that up, and then I'm going to start adding the spices. And again, things are about to get really loud in here. I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to put it on the... I'm just going to put this on the smoothie cycle, because this is about the same thing as making a smoothie. <laughs> Dash 
Elisha Cayenne. I'm not going to put much right now because I don't know how hot this is yet. Again, this is a living food. We have to do a little experimentation and taste it and see. So I'm going to run the blender again. Now this time I just held down the pulse button so I could just manually control it instead of letting it run on a cycle. Now that's where we're going to get into tasting the chili. Clean spoon. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. That turned out really well. The spoon down. Definitely has a kick and a lot of flavor. I'm going to add just a bit of sea salt. This is Celtic sea salt. It's the best kind to use. I'm going to add just a pinch of that.